Radio Raheem here with Danny Jacobs at home in Brooklyn at the Barclay. Listen, man, you were correct that people didn't know what to expect from Selecki. Yeah. I did. And he <laughs> delivered that. Yeah, yeah. Were you surprised? I, I was surprised that he was able to take certain shots because I was landing big overhand rice. He has a small head. And I was just like, man, once I hit this guy on his dome, it's going to be lights out. But he endured it. He gained my respect. I was able to still come forward and show different things. But at the end of the day, I just wanted to make sure the fans had a great show. So that's why I was out there ringing and banging. And, you know, we went out on our shield. And that's really all we can ask for. If you can't get a knockout, what you go in there expecting, the least you can do is go out and give these fans a great show. The first thing that was exciting was the speed. Yeah. Right from the first opening bell, you're known as, as a fast fighter, but more so because of your technique. Yeah. Your, your skills get you the punch to the to the intended target. Yeah. This guy was fast. Did that pose a particular challenge for you tonight? Well, he wasn't the fastest that I've ever been in with. I just think he was a little awkward. You know, he was very, very awkward. I think um, if we use our jab and set a lot of things up, it would have been a lot easier. But when you're in the moment, when your emotions running high. I mean, that's the good thing about going at tapes. You know, when you're studying yourself, you can see exactly what you need to fix each and every time out. So I'm happy with the victory. But, yeah, you know, we can do better. Obviously, this is boxing. Every t even, even if I would have got the knockout, we can always go back and say how I got the knockout better. So you can always fix things, and that's the key about being a true student of the game, which I believe I am. You got the fans up out of their seat in the 12th round. You didn't get the knockout, but you got a spectacular knockdown. Yeah. What brought that What brought that moment, and were you surprised when you saw him buckle after taking so many shots for 11 rounds up until that point? Well, I knew I was hurting him from the shots, especially from our body shots. I knew that with his small frame, if I was to get a really good shot, it would definitely, you know, make an effect. So the only thing my trainer was telling me was just set it up. Set it up with the jab. You know, don't just go out there trying to wing shots. And, you know, once we did, we, it was too late. It was the 12th round already. Uh, but we successfully got a knockdown. It was dramatic. The fans were on their feet. And I'm happy with the performance. And lastly, you're an elite fighter, and you're looking to put elite fighters in your uh, scopes. Yes. You're trying to target big fights. And you know, Selecki is a solid fighter, which is something that – you learned tonight or something that you were able to work on tonight that would help you with those names like Charlo, Triple G, Canelo? Well, yeah, absolutely. We'll definitely go back to the drawing boards and, you know, I'll go over exactly once I see the fight what I could have changed. But off the top of my head inside that ring, I think the ultimate thing was setting things up off the jab and working the body just a little bit more. So in the fighters meeting, we were talking about how I was, you know, doing the Burt Cooper and the Archie Moore style because I'm a fan of, I'm a fan of this game, you know, and, and I have a lot of respect for the guys who set the tone for us. The guy had this opportunity now. So, you know, I want to be able to implement things, implement different styles so I can work different things, whether it's a body or setting up different hard shots, whatever the case may be. I just want to be the best that I can possibly be. Before I let you go, man, can I show off your bling here? Can oh, we? No, come on, yo, man. yo, come on, I know you, man. I, you usually just tie your dress oh, up, but that's no, something man. new and fresh. Is that what are you doing? Is that something that uh, Eddie Hearn brought to the game? I mean, no, is this no, is this no. the is this your English? Uh, this is hard work and dedication. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. I'm a very humble guy. I don't like to flaunt, but at the end of the day, you know, when you, when you work hard, you like to you know you like to look good, and, and and when you perform good, it's okay. You think watch like this can bring the uh, likes of Billy Joe Saunders and Canelo and uh, kind of Charlo into the ring because no, you I say these guys are avoiding you like honestly what's the, what's the deciding to factor do with this I think uh, at the end of the day you know I just really want the fans to be pleased with the middleweight division because it's one of the hottest divisions in the game right now so we all should be fighting each other it shouldn't be no one avoiding each other if anything we should have a tournament set in place to where we can truly find out who's the best so I'm down for something like that but I don't know what's going to take for me to get these guys in the ring well I don't either but I expect to see you in the ring with those guys and we're going to push to make sure that these kind of fights happen I know the fans want it it's always a pleasure to watch you work man thank you for the time Radio Raheem with Danny Jacobs Gucci to the floor to the socks and blinging so I hope my, my camera and my lights don't bounce back too hard man congratulations well done thank you